Hi everyone, Dr. Jeff back with this week with uh, with Fiona here. I'm back in town. I was in England last week, so so we're back uh, back this week. And Fiona's got a great topic this week. Um, is it safe to crack your own joints? Yeah, your own joints. Yeah. Well, I know what uh, you know. I used to get mums all the time. I still get mums coming in and and they're saying, you know, my kid cracks her knuckles all the time. Is that safe to do? It drives me crazy. I'm sure it's going to lead to arthritis or something later on. You know, I, I used to have a buddy that I used to hike with all the time. He'd get up every morning and kind of, oh, and crack his neck back and forth and everything and get that nice popping noise. He said, oh, that feels so good now. Um, but it's actually, it's actually safety. What causes that noise? Uh, so in between every joint, there is a synovial fluid. And once you warm it up, there's bubbles that form. And so that popping noise is when those, pop, uh, those bubbles pop. Yeah, make a pop. Again. Make a pop. Yeah, so it's, it's almost like making uh, opening a can of pop. Yeah. Uh, you get the that, that bubble release. Yeah. So is it does it cause any problems if I do it? Well, when I was in school way back when, uh, thirty five years ago, we used to think that, and physios used to used to always criticize chiropractic because uh, adjusting joints would actually cause inflammation and cause arthritis, and that kids that would crack their own knuckles or everything and later on their knuckles would be this big and they they form arthritis and, and their hands wouldn't work anymore. Uh, but that myth has been busted. Um, they didn't really want to see, they actually have, have, have done CAT scans of people cracking their knuckles and they can actually see the bubble bursting and stuff. It's pretty cool to watch, but they don't think it actually causes arthritis anymore or anything like that. The only thing that can really happen is that uh, by doing it over and over and over again, and, and like Fiona has a bad habit of cracking her knuckles, um, and, and the only bad habit of that is because in order to get that cracking noise, you have to take that joint, you have to take it beyond, we call it physiological range. So beyond its normal range of motion to get that uh, pop. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're actually stretching the ligament. So that ligament and that joint is actually getting stretched and that joint becomes more unstable. So it becomes looser and looser. So that joint then becomes more prone to sprains and strains. Um, there is some talk in the literature about it, you know, pinching nerves or, or causing some other issues, but really, that, that's pretty rare. Usually the most you know, most common thing with people that like to crack their own joints and stuff, it's gonna be causing joint laxity and, and, and it's easier to sprain and strain then. Yeah, uh, but like people like to like stretch like this or like this that cause like popping noise, that's generally safe. It's just the looser uh, joints that are moving, um, but um, it's not recommended to do it more constantly or um, on purpose. Yeah, so a lot of people, it's a, a habit they get into that they, you know, I've got, I still have patients that come in and they, you know, they're doing this all the time or, you know, or they're, or they're trying to do this and say, listen, doc, I can crack my own back. Um, you know, doing it, doing it as you're stretching is perfectly fine. Uh, but trying to do it on purpose, again, you're creating that laxity in the joints. And, and again, I know when, you know, I had my buddy when we were hiking with and he, he kind of go, ah, oh, you know, Jeff, I really can't get this to pop this morning. Can you get it for me? So I lie him on the ground and I, I palpate his neck and I adjust him for just for him, uh, his neck for him, and that he said, "Oh, that feels really good." But generally, what happens with that is, is it's not the loose joints that that I have to work on; it's the ones that are stuck. Because if you get a stuck joint here and a stuck joint here, that one in the middle is going to be flopping all over the place because because the body still has to move. So that's the one when you're you're cracking your own back. That's the one that's actually going to be cracking all the time. So again, by doing it all the time, that joints become more unstable and. You know, when you have a whiplash accident or you fall or you, you hurt your low back, that's generally the loose one that's actually going to cause you the problem. Uh, then we have to, and then we have to try and fix it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends and family and comment down below if you have future video ideas or any questions. And as we say, Goldworthy, we got, got your back. back.